What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Welcome to Introvert Rockstars Podcast by Dexter Williams. Let's go. So roughly two, three hours ago, Tia Maori posted that, you know, she and her husband have decided to go their separate ways. And um, I really hate that for them. You know, they've been married 14 years and stuff. Two, two beautiful children, great careers. And I really hate that for them because they they appear to be very happy. They appear to you know really love each other not saying that they don't but that's you know what they showed on the surface but is it just me or did anybody else see this coming i say that because lately i've been noticing when i see them together on social media he never really looks happy or he never really looked happy. And at first I was like, okay, well maybe that's just his face. But then I had to think about the previous times I've seen him online and they were together. And you know, you could see the happiness in his face. But lately I ain't been seeing it. So I'm like, I don't know, something may be wrong. Something may be going on in paradise. So when I saw what I saw today, I wasn't really surprised because I'm like, I don't know, something just seemed a little off. You know, but all in all, I hate, man, I hate that they, that they're divorcing because I, I really like them together as well as a lot of other people really love them together. But I wish them both the best, man. I wish them both peace and happiness and I hope they get through this divorce um, peacefully. What's poppin'? What's poppin', man? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Hope y'all had a good day. You know, the sun is going down over here. It was another good day. No rain in Louisiana, which is crazy because it's going on three weeks. You know, three weeks, no rain. Just perfect weather. Like, like I said, I can't trust this shit. <laughs> I'm not going to trust this shit. I'm not trusting this shit. Next thing you know, oh, it's a fucking hurricane in the Gulf. Come on, man. Come on, man. We don't need that shit. You know, we don't need that. We don't need that. You know, but man, what a day. What a week, man. A lot of a lot of crazy news, you know, and today, you know, today we're going to talk about it. And the way I do things is I don't bash nobody. You know, I don't say modern women this and they they ain't shit. Man, look, I accept everything for what it is. You know, because if you walk around being mad at shit, you're going to be mad all the time. Because guess what? Women have changed. They not like the women they were in the 90s, the 80s, the 70s, the 60s. They not like that. They have evolved, you know, and so have we. Times have changed. And like I always say, man, the it's best to just adjust. Because if you keep just trying to fight it, go against it, you go always be frustrated. You know, and, and then you'll catch yourself hating women, you know, and you go really hate them like women ain't shit. We, but secretly you love them because guess what? It's a thin line between love and hate. Damn. You know what's crazy? When I watched that movie, heard that song a long time ago. I didn't really know. Like I didn't put it together until I got older. I'm like, damn, it's a thin line between love and hate. That shit is real. It's a thin line. People can love you today. And hate you tomorrow. It's a very thin line that separates it. You know, it's a very thin line that separates it. And you know, like I always say, shout out to my people who work it overnight. You know, you trying to get it. You working towards that new car. You working towards that new house. You working towards your first apartment. You working towards putting some food on your kids' table. You work, you know, working on getting some clothes. You working on starting over. You living in your car, so you trying to go hard, man. Shout out to y'all. You know, the truck drivers, the nurses, 
uh, the people working at the stores, the grocery stores. If, if you pushing the carts at Walmart, uh, Walgreens, man, shout out to all y'all, bro. You know, especially to them truck drivers, you know, because I know, I know the feeling. I know the feeling, you know, that overnight, that long haul when you, when you alone. Hey, shout out to y'all, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for doing what y'all do. Because guess what? Without truck drivers, wouldn't nothing be out here. Everything you got on your back, even the phone, it comes off a truck. It comes off the boat. If it comes from China or something, if it comes from overseas, off the boat. Uh, sometimes to the train and then to the truck. But most times off the boat to the train. I mean to the uh to the truck. You know, so without a truck, man, you wouldn't even have a life. So shout out to them guys, man. Shout out to them truck drivers, man. Like y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Shout out to them nurses. You know, shout out to the single mothers. Hey, shout out to y'all. Shout out to the guys that still with their baby moms, you know, that like y'all have that family. Shout out to y'all for staying. Cause I know that shit ain't easy. I know it's not easy for the both of y'all, so shout out to that, man, because that's that's important. Even though you want to leave, hey, it's a song called It's Cheaper to Keeper. Go listen to it, because I found out too late. <laughs> I told you we get real on this shit. I found out too late. Them lyrics stuck to me too late. And I was listening to that shit. I grew up listening to that kind of music. But guess what? The lyrics hit you when you really go through it. So it's cheaper to keep her. You think about leaving, nigga, you better stay. If she ain't trying to kill you, if she, you know, ain't trying to ruin your life, nigga, you better stay. You better stay and hold it down. Forget that shit. You don't need to go through that, man. You don't need to go through what you go go through if you leave. Trust me, ain't, ain't nothing out here, bro. Ain't nothing out here but people that want to use you, you know? See, it was a major reason... I moved away from Arizona also, too, because, you know, I was born in the month of February and I'm a winter baby, you know, so I need my seasons, man. I need that cold weather. So that's why y'all saw me wearing leather jacket. Like, I need that cold weather. It's almost here. And when I start doing videos and stuff, yeah, y'all gonna see that leather jacket. You know, you'll see me with a new leather jacket. You know, because I have to have my seasons, man. I just have to. I can't. Yeah, it could be perfect every day, but you get used to that, man. You get used to the mountains. You get used to that. I need to see some thunderstorms, you know. I need to feel that fall. I need to see the leaves falling up, uh, to the ground. I need to see that, you know. So shout out to fall, man. Like, just beautiful. The fires coming up and stuff like that. Hey, look. You working hard. You also, in these days, because like I said, you, you never know. When another pandemic go hit, you never know. So these days you have to work and you have to enjoy yourself. You know, you have to work hard. Then you have to enjoy yourself hard. You know, because if you don't, I'm telling you, these times, you just never know what to expect. You might wake up. Oh, they shutting down this. Guess what? You didn't live your life. You was chasing something and you forgot the most important thing. Enjoy the ride. You know, but today we'll get into it, man. We'll get into it. Like I say, this channel, we not on here to like bash women or nothing like that. It's just to teach lessons. Because guess what? I'm not perfect. I made a whole lot of mistakes and I'm still paying for them and I'm still getting better while I'm paying for them. You know, but this channel is to teach lessons. You know, so that's why I named it Men Searching for Love Through Relationships. Because guess what? The older we get, we, you know, we search for that love. We search for that fairy tale. They say women search for it. Oh, men search for it too, especially these days. Men, younger now, they want a family. You know, men want the family. But guess what? Times have changed. Most women, they want the polygamous relationship. See, a lot of people think that it's men who want the polygamous, uh, polygamy relationships. No, it's women. It's women who want it because guess what? They see what we do. They see how we roll. And they like, oh, no. You ain't the only one that can have fun. Let me have fun, too. You know? And you got your women who just do it because it's them. Like, that's their personality. So they just go beat them. But for the most part, they they do it because, oh, oh, you go do you? Okay, let me join. You know, so times have changed, man. So when it comes to this love stuff, man, let me tell you. First thing, man. 
No one will ever give you that love your mother gives you. Your mother and your daughter. You know, when your daughter is a kid and like the mom ain't putting no crazy stuff in the head. But those two, nobody will ever love you like that. So you have to slowly get that out of your head. Like somebody can give you that unconditional love. You know, your mom was the one that uh, that birthed you. So her love is unconditional for the most part, you know, for the most part. Cause I know it's some guys, you know, but I'm talking about overall. Your mom has that over uh, that unconditional love for you. Your daughter also, when she's young, she has that unconditional love for you that no one can match. No one can match that. So you go out to this world and you look for that unconditional love. It's not there. It's not there. And it's gonna be. It's gonna be people that say, "Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is." Trust me, the main ones that saying yes, it is, they not even in relationships. They not in long term relationships. You know, and this don't apply to everybody. You know, you got people that stay together and they learn, and that's the key. They learned how to get through. The husband cheated. He had a baby on her. Guess what? They got through that. He had another baby on her. Guess what? They got through that. That's really what marriage is. You know, people think people really get married and then they get into it and they see that that shit ain't easy. You know, things get hard. Husband lose the job. What you going to do? You going to stay with him or you going to be like, damn, he, he weak and shit like that. And that's what happens. You know, man, she... <laughs> She said something about uh, she would rather be apart from him than live in an illusion. And I'm like, damn. You know, you have to. Never mind, we're going to talk about that. We'll talk about that. But another thing, self-love, man. Before you meet these women, because guess what? His, I think his name is Corey. He, he met her when he was at his lowest you know, he moved to L.A. He was homeless. She said she, uh, she met him on a train and, and he had on these raggedy ass shoes and stuff like that. And she like took him in. Bruh, I know that shit sound good, but you never, ever, ever want to meet a chick like that. You never want to meet a chick and settle down when you ain't got shit, when you ain't build yourself yet. And I ain't saying you got to be rich. When you ain't built your foundation, you, you don't want to be out here selling with chicks and she taking you in trust me i lived that life it ain't it ain't what it cracked up to be unless you mature enough to finesse that in a way to like you reverse the roles like you uh really use it to benefit you and then you um you help each other out but most men during that time you gonna let her keep doing her and you just go reap whatever she give you and she gonna always look at you like a boy she gonna always look at you like a boy. I don't care. She gonna love you like a son. That's it. That's the most she can love you. And, and guess what? She gonna be into other men that's handling business. That's the that's the uh, big dog of the house. You know, so you never want to settle down when you not where you want to be at in life. You know, when you don't have your foundation, when you don't have your foundation and you don't know what your purpose is in life. You don't want to settle down, man, because guess what? She going to look at you like a boy because they don't care. At a certain age, they don't give a damn what you aiming for. Either you already there or you already got your shit together. They don't care. Yeah, that Jody shit cool for a little while, bro. It's cool. For, it's fun for a little while. You know, it's fun as fuck. You going to check the chick house and you could just stay home, watch TV while she go to work, kick your feet up, eat all her, eat all her kids, uh, snacks, eat all the fruit snacks. Come on, bro. That shit, that shit fun. <laughs> bro, then was the days, but it going to come a day in your life where when you enter a relationship, you want to be in charge of everything. You know, you want to be in charge. Matter of fact, you could let her still do her thing if she's, you know, she got her own career and stuff like that. But you in charge. You don't let her treat you like a son, a boy, none of that. So that's what I'm saying, man. Don't be out here looking for love and you don't know 
where you headed in life. You don't have your foundation built. Because it's going to end badly. And you're going to waste 14 years of your youth, of your life. And it's really not a waste because it's a lesson learned. But still, those 14 years, man, you could have been having fun. You could have been furthering your career. You know? And the next thing is, man, look. Like I always say, you got to love yourself first before you even think about falling in love with a woman. You got to love yourself because guess what? This guy, he went in a relationship with all kind of things wrong and stuff like that. Just to imagine, you know, all the insecurities he had. And like she had to try to fix or she had to deal with. Man, forget that. You want to deal with all your insecurities by yourself. All that shit. For example, with me, I'm getting my braces. I'm getting my body right. All that shit. You know, I'm dealing with my shit first. So when I get in a relationship, man, it's going to be hardly nothing. You know, nothing that that uh that gets to me that that I want to fix. You know, you never want to go in a relationship, man, if you don't love yourself. And I ain't talking about that fake love, that, you know, that uh that fake motivational shit. No, man, you have to love the good shit about yourself and the bad shit about yourself. Because you know why? That's going to make you be honest about your life. You know? Once you're honest about your life, can't nobody say nothing that can get to you because you know who you are. You know where your weak points are. You know what you got to get better in. You know, nobody can get to you. Nobody can say nothing that can get to you. You know, and you got to learn how to take care of yourself. Like, you have to learn when you down how to pick yourself back up. And sometimes that takes time to learn on a consistent level. Okay, when this happened, what I got to do. When my mind fucked up, what I got to do. To get it back right. Because you got to learn that. You think you could be in in a relationship, dog. And dealing with a woman. When they have all they mood swings and shit. Nah, bro. That's why I say take your time with this relationship shit. Because these days, man. Times have changed. These women have options now. They have a lot of, they have a lot of doubt. When things go wrong quick, they have doubt. Is this the right man I should be with? It's, you don't have time for that shit. You know? You don't have time for that. You know, and another thing, see, we got a lot of uh, guys, your mother worked a lot, uh, or your mother left y'all, your dad worked a lot, or your dad left, so you didn't, you you couldn't get that real consistent love, so as an, as an adult, it's like you chasing it, it's like you chasing it, trust me, I know, it's like you chasing it, and you chasing it, and you just can't get a grip. I told y'all last time, whatever you chase, you, you never go get. You you have to learn how to attract. You have to learn how to attract that shit to you. The more you chase, the more you chase love, it's not going to come to you. And it may seem like you got it, but like she said, it's going to be an illusion. It's going to be all forced. You know how many people enforce relationships to make that shit look good in front of their family because they don't want to, they don't want to, um, be alone for thanksgiving they don't want to be alone for christmas and you know i don't fault them because we all human and we all want somebody but as a man i'm telling y'all from my experience you don't want to go through that you don't want to put yourself through that if you know better you know you'd rather just be alone and get through what you got to get through alone work on yourself because guess what the women go always be here women go always be here man they're not going nowhere they outnumber us so just imagine the better you get, the better you get, the better you build your life. And guess what? When they come along, oh, bro, the shit going to be smooth. See, man, look, I'm 32. I ain't even 37, 38 yet. I'm, I'm 32, bro. And I know, like, once I decide that day, you know, because that might be 40, 41, I don't know. But once I decide to get in a relationship, I know the kind, like the kind of mind I got, nothing's going to get to me. So I'm not going to be emotional. See, a lot of men are emotional because they don't know themselves. They haven't did their work on themselves. They haven't went through hell with themselves. So you got to go through hell with yourself first before you can try to go through hell with another person. You know, and, and my biggest fear was always being in charge of somebody else's uh, emotions. I can't do that. 
I cannot do that. To this day, I cannot do it. I may, I, I may be able to do it as I get older, but right now, I can't be in charge of someone else's emotions because I'm still trying to build myself. So how I'm going to be there daily to like, if, let's say your girl's, uh, her mother dies or something like that. Like, you trying to build your life. So now you have to, uh, you have to be a certain way. You can't be showing excitement and shit while her mother uh, dead. You can't do that. You know? So I say, man, it's just best that you work on yourself for a period of time. You know, you can date all that stuff like that because that's how you're going to learn and shit. But for the most part, 90%, you want that to be focused on bettering yourself as a man, bro. And I know this shit easy to say. It's easy to say because now, guess what? Winter is coming up. And that's when everybody want to, uh, what they call that shit, cuffing season. Everybody want to cuff something. And I'm going to be honest. Relationships and love, it can't protect you from depression. It can't protect you from uh, stress. It can't depress you from feeling uh, like you lacking something in your life. It can't. It's only going to enhance it. It's only going to make you more frustrated. Relationships can't save you, man. They cannot save you. Only you can save you. That's why I say you got to go to hell with yourself, man. You got to go through the bottom and come back up with yourself first. That way, once you get into that, that lifestyle, when things happen, you're not going to panic. When the girl leaves you, you know, you're going to be cool with it. Say, OK, you're not going to write her a million songs, uh, go to her job crying, uh, kill yourself. You know, you're not going to do all that stuff. You're going to be like, okay, uh, we loved, we had fun. Hey, evolve. And you're going to move on with your life. Yes, it's going to hurt a little bit, but you're going to move on with your life because you're going to understand how life works. And I believe, man, I believe everybody evolves. I believe people just stay in long relationships because, for the most part, you know, because some people, they really like tied to each other. But I believe people stay in relationships just to, um, just to keep that thing going for the outside world, you know, for the kids and the outside world. So they won't, you know, mess up nothing. So that's why today I noticed so many people saying, OK, we're going to stay together, but we both go have sex with different people. Man, you know how many girls that that tried to get me to hop on that uh, bandwagon? Women I met that was married, they come to me and asking me, can I be like their boyfriend and they husband is, I'm like, I, I can't do that. Like, that's not even real. But so many people can convince themselves that it's real. But really, man, it's just all crazy. Shit. And like I say, I don't judge them. Everybody can do what they do. But I just can't do that. You know, I can't even be, I can't even be a part of it. Because first of all, I don't want no relationships. So how am I going to be your boyfriend? And secondly, how am I your boyfriend? <laughs> It don't add up. So you got common sense in this world, man. You really got to stop and think and be slow to accept certain stuff when you got common sense these days in this world because a lot of people love living in an illusion. They love it. It keeps them going because guess what? If they check into reality, it's going to be a depression. But the reality going to hit one day and that depression coming anyway. You know, it's going to come anyway. So you might as well deal with reality right now, you know. And like I said earlier, when you meet these women, man, you want to meet women. And if you take them serious, you want to take them serious at the top of your game. At the top of your game or why you, you know, on that way. You don't want to be out here having to depend on them, live with them. No, that shit is over. Those days are over. Those days are over. You might can get that woman, but eventually, guess what? She going to be like, damn, this nigga, bomb. This nigga, I got to do everything for this nigga. The spell go go. You could have, I'm telling you, when a woman really like you, that spell will be there for a little while. You going to have a, you going to have a spell over her if she really into you. But that illusion slowly fades away. For example, with, with the Tia uh, Maori thing, that illusion slowly fades away. 
She like, damn, this nigga, he is who he is. You know, and she's just tired of that shit. And <laughs> you see what happened, you know, but when you meet these women, bro, you don't want to be like you coming to date, uh, like they coming to your aid to save you. Man, don't do that. Don't do that. You know, be at the top of your game because it's, it's easy to be a pook. It's easy to be a Jody. That's that shit easy and it's fun. But that's when you young and you wild and shit. But as you get older, as you get in your 30s and shit, man, you want to have your own foundation. You want to be uh, working towards building your own foundation because that shit going to feel way better. And that's when you're going to see a whole difference. You know, that's when you're going to see a whole difference, you know. And another thing is people evolve, man. People just evolve in relationships. People evolve. That's why I, that's why I say in one of my videos don't settle so early because you go constantly go through evolution. You go constantly uh, shed your shell. You know, you go constantly evolve to a better man. You go keep evolving. You go keep evolving. And you want to get to that age where you can evolve. And if your girl don't evolve, guess what? You can teach her how to evolve with you. But when you're young and you evolve and you're like, damn, man, this She's still on the same shit. She still want to fuss. She still want to argue, you know, but you evolving and you ain't on that shit. You just want to build. That's why I say, bro, take your time with this life, because if you rush it, it's going to spit you back out. It's going to chew you up. And it's going to spit you back out. And you could be 35, 36, starting at the same level. And ain't nothing wrong with that because you can always come back up. But if you got the information, you know, why abuse it? You know, why abuse it? And I'm going to talk about lust, man. Look, we're going to take time with this one. When, because I heard, I heard her, um, I was sitting somewhere, man, because I always remember because you know how we grew up in the days, man, watching Sister, Sister. Like that shit, that shit still go hard today. If that shit come on TV, if you grew up in the, uh, the 90s, the early 2000s and stuff like that. Sister, sister came on. We watched that shit. You will still watch that today. My little niece is 10 years old. I saw her watching it uh, one day. I'm like, damn, this is how you know a show is good because it keeps going generation, generation. And I heard her on a show. It was, I think, called The Voice or The View or something like that. And she was talking about how she don't have time for sex. And I said, uh oh, I said, uh oh. She said she don't have time for sex and stuff like that. So that just showed me like she wasn't really into dude like that. Because guess what? When a woman is really into you. Man, she go she go lust after you like it's nothing. She go always want you. She go be throwing herself at you when she really into you. That's a That's the difference, man. When a woman really loves you. Man, <laughs> she go give you her body. You know, she go give you her body. You don't never have you don't never have to ask. She go give you her body willingly because guess what? She's in love with you. You know, now when they start saying, oh, uh, I don't really want the sex and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, it, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. And that's what I heard. I said, damn. Yep. It, it's over. After that, it's over because naturally when they love a man, they they can't even explain it, man. You know, they can't even explain it. And shout out to the girls that I, I learned this from. Like, shout out to the women I learned this from. You know, like, not, uh, I'm not with none of them. And I'm probably, I'm probably like, cool with one of them. But it's like an off and on thing. You know, she still hate my guts and shit like that. But I still respect them, man. And I still, and I still learned a lot from her. Because that girl really did love me. And I saw what women do. When they in love, they they give you their whole body. They submit willingly. You don't have to make shows about oh why women don't submit. Man, look if they love you, they go submit. Even even if they shouldn't, even if you ain't got shit, they still go submit because they in love at that time. Marriage is hard, man. Marriage is hard, so that's why I don't judge nobody, and, and that's why I don't be quick to jump to conclusions when shit happens. Because guess what? They can be right back together because they got kids together. They can be right back. They can call all that shit off. 
But don't be in a rush to get married, man. Don't be in a rush. Trust me, everybody that got married early, they would tell you the same thing I'm telling you. Don't be in a rush to get married early. Don't be in a rush to start a family early. Because guess what? You go evolve. You go, and especially these days, it's, it's, it's too many distractions going on. So you have to keep evolving and keep learning from mistakes and keep uh, learning new things. Because guess what? You want to be a little older and a little wiser because these days it's too many distractions. So you got to know how to deal with those distractions. When you're a young man, you don't know how to deal with distractions. Like your girl cheat on you or, or some shit. Or she look at another dude or something like you. You go snap. You go snap like that. You ready to choke a bitch like on some real shit. When you young, man, you ain't got no time to listen to shit. You just want to snap. You want to snap. But as, as you get older, you go start learning stuff and you go start. You gonna know how to articulate yourself in a better way than you do while you young. Because when you young, you can't go back. And, a lot of young dudes can't go back and forth with women. Or you can't go back and forth with argument points and stuff like that. But as you get older, you go be able to think and you go be able to speak slowly to like get your point out, you know. But it's so it's so important, man. And I know I always talk about it. It's so important to keep working on yourself. So whatever you're doing, don't think you need to change like a massive change in your life. Life is all about consistency, man. Do it over and over and over. And then it will come a day when you got to like your mind will say, OK, it's time for this step. You, your soul, your mind will tell you when it's time, bro. Your soul will tell you when it's time to evolve. You don't have to do nothing. All you got to do is stay consistent in what you're doing. You don't have to keep up with these people on social media you don't have to do that your soul gonna tell you when it's time to evolve it's gonna tell you and it's gonna be hard for you to go against it because every time you go against it you gonna feel bad you can better look yourself in the mirror you can go better to like have um normal interactions with people because you gonna feel you letting yourself down you gonna feel that naturally you know because when you give these women man look you want to be the shot caller bro you want to be the shot caller. You don't want your girl to be your boss. You know, and if you look at that whole relationship, she was the boss. That don't work. It doesn't work. You know, relationships, they trying to make that shit work. It don't work. You want to be the shot caller. And I ain't say by being a shot caller that you got to be disrespectful, calling her a bitch and shit like that. And I, when you when you evolve as a man, you ain't got to do that no more. You ain't got to do that. She can feel your energy. The way you walk, the way you talk, like the way you explain yourself, the way you look at her, bro, a look, a look goes a long way, bro. With my daughter, bro, I could, I could look at her while she's doing something, and I can just look at her, and like she'll stop. You know, she'll stop. That's the same thing with a woman, bro. You, you give them that look. You know, cause guess what? Words are only a certain percentage of how people communicate, man. You know, most of most of communication is body language. The way you look at somebody, the way they see you walking, they they comprehend that that adds up in their brain a different way, you know, than you actually talking. You know, so man, look, <laughs> bro, trust me, I am not the perfect person to talk about nobody marriage and stuff like that. Like, I hope I hope they get back together because they have kids, man. And how I wish that I had my real dad uh, in the home with me, you know, to teach me certain things that I ain't have to learn until I was in my 20s. But as I got older, I understood, you know, like I say, me and my dad, we, we close as hell now. We talk every week. You know, I pull up, I pull up on him, he cooking and I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it any other way. You know, I'm glad I went through that. I'm glad, you know, I'm glad that happened. But if I could go back and do it all over again, yeah, I love to see him and my mom like in the house together. So that's why I say um, with, the, with their relationship, I hope they can get back together because that's important, man. A lot of guys, you see, you see what the fucked up part is, man? Like a lot of young dudes, you know, a lot of y'all, y'all have to come on YouTube and learn from other men. Like how to shave, how to do simple stuff, how to change your tire, you know, that we should have been learned from our dads and stuff. But life just not perfect. 
And that's what you got to understand, man. So don't hold grudges against people because you don't know what they was going through at that time. You don't know what your dad was dealing with. You don't know how their relationship was. You know, people are not perfect. People are not perfect. But that's why I'm saying, if you look back, a lot of our parents, uh, they rushed relationships. You know, they made mistakes. They didn't know themselves before they got... Like, like my dad, man. My dad uh, got his life together around like 31, 32. That's when he just... Well, like 30, 29. That's when he just started getting his credit. Man, my dad doing so good now. And like, he was a real street nigga. Like, in the streets, getting... Sh like, he got shot. Oh, I remember all that. I used to cry to my mom and be like, oh, I want to go see my dad. Like, I used to cry all day when he went around. You know? But... I'm telling you, our parents go through shit too. They they still dealing with shit from their childhood. You know? See, a lot of people, and this don't get talked about a lot, a lot of people, they deal with stuff from their childhood and everybody deal with it differently. You know? And so that's why I say, man, take your time because you don't want to get with a woman and she still got things from her childhood that you got to help. Because guess what? You her man. Uh, so you got to help her uh, fix those problems. You got to help her through her traumas. You know, you got to help her through that. And you don't know how she deal with that. And you got to help her with that. But you still dealing with stuff because you ain't fixed your shit. You know, you ain't fixed your shit. So you got to fix your stuff, man. Like, it, it's very important because I don't, all that fairy tale love shit, bitches finding you when you broke, they find you on the bus, broke down, and y'all together. Man, trust me, that shit don't last, man. That shit fairy tale. They want you to believe that shit lasts. They, they want you to believe that that's love. You know what love is? When your, when your girl get paralyzed and you still with her, and you still stay with her. You know what love is? When y'all have to compromise. You know? You know what love is? When you can go out and fuck 10 women. Well, you can go do that because it's easy. You a player. You've been a player all your life. But now you got a girl now and sneaking around that'll be messed up. You know, and you choose not to do it because you don't want to fuck that up and you want to be a better man. That's love, man. That's love. When you can be that old wolf, but you decide to say, OK, for the first time in my life, I'm going to try to be an honest man. I'm going to be an honest man. You know, that's love, bro. All that fairy tale stuff. Don't don't fall for that shit. You want to build yourself financial in this world. You want to build yourself mentally. You know, you want to build that shit up. And when you have depression days, you, you, you want to learn how to overcome that. You want for the and the most thing you as a man, you want to learn how to overcome adversity by yourself. I'm telling you this, man, because right now I'm by myself by choice. I can I can tell a girl like, let's be together tomorrow and I can have a girlfriend. But I don't want to do that shit. You know, I want to still keep learning how to get through adversity by myself because I ain't gonna lie, that shit fun. It's fun because you're like, damn, I thought of all this shit in my head. I, um, something happened and I thought of ways to fix it. And you like, yeah, let's go. You know? So you get in a relationship where shit happens. Like I say, hurricane blow down your whole house. You gonna know how to handle that. Your, your car get told her, you gonna know how to handle that. You gonna have to call your mom and say, uh, what I gotta do? What I gotta do? Nah, you gonna know how to handle that. Somebody bullying your uh your kid in school, you gonna know how to go handle that because you dealt with adversity and you gonna be a calm man. I'm telling you, man. You know, I'm telling you. And I'm be honest, man. I'm gonna be honest. After a certain age, a woman really don't love like that no more. She didn't already went through love her love stages. She didn't already. Went through all the toxic shit that's fun for women. She done already been through that, you know. So guess what? She gonna want a man that's just coming through to pay the bills. And she go create that illusion that, like, you know, she she in love and she finally... Nah, she just want a man that'll pay the bills, bro. You know, that's how... That's, what, that's when real life hits. No lust. It ain't no real lust. You know, it's just straight, you a straight bill payer. That's it. You know, so you don't want to deal with that, man. You don't want to deal with that. 
You don't want to just settle in life just so you can have somebody to go to the Christmas party with. Somebody, uh, when you get off the road, you can have somebody. Nah, man. Learn how to deal with life alone. Like I said, you can date, you can have chicks and stuff like that, but don't be out here lying to them, like leading them on. Nah, tell them what's up. You know, the days where you have to run game and lie, like that PUA, that pickup game shit, man, that shit dead. These days, you can tell the truth because guess what? These girls are on the same time you on. When they say, oh, just tell me you want to have sex. We can have sex. Tell me you want to be in a relationship. Man, they mean that. They mean that. So you don't have to lie these days. The more you lie these days, the more hole you put yourself in. The more time you wasting. You know? The more time you wasting. The more you dig yourself a hole, the more you lying out here. You know, dude just probably just wanted to sleep with her and shit like that. But he played the game. You know, he played the game. He played the lost little boy and she was the, you know, the saver hoe. <laughs> Not in the bad way, you know, but she saved the nigga. You know, and now she getting tired of saving niggas. He still probably got that same mentality. And now she probably just want one of them niggas that's going to come through and be like, yeah, you my bitch. Like, let's go. Because you look at her, man, like. And see, that's another thing. Don't don't be out here trying to act perfect in front of the camera, bro. You don't have to do that fake shit. Everybody know relationships not perfect. Everybody know that, so you don't have to be out here acting perfect, man. I don't. I don't want to. I never want to act perfect. So that's why I per, I post certain stuff on my YouTube channel to show you. Nah, I ain't perfect. I'm still I'm still with the hood shit, you know. But I learned a lot from my mistakes so i could come on i can come on here every day and talk about dumb shit i did you know i could talk about dumb shit i did almost getting married you know almost getting married and that would have that would have fucked my whole life up i would have been in double the trouble you know i would have been in double the trouble but like i said earlier if i would have heard that song the cheaper the keeper <laughs> My G, I would have probably did what I had to do, you know, because so you can't just blame her. You got to blame him, too, because he didn't he wasn't patient. He wasn't patient enough to build his life first and then settle down, you know. And I know, like I say, man, we human. Everybody at the end of the day, at the end of the day, most people want relationships. But I'm telling you to take your time because when you rush, life go chew you up and it's going to spit you out. And then you're going to learn your lesson and then you're going to be on YouTube. <laughs> Let me stop playing. But yeah, it's going to chew you up and spit you out. And you and you have to have that will and power to be able to pick yourself back up again. I pick myself back up again, man. I picked myself back up. I almost lost. Well, I did lose everything at one point. But by me being able to be by myself and focus on the things I have to focus on, I can I can do that. But when you got when you got a girlfriend and you in a serious relationship, guess what? You can't do that. You gotta focus on what she's going through. And she don't give a fuck about what you going through. Nigga, like I say, is you go buy me a diamond uh necklace, I need me a car. My friends got cars. Her friends got cars now. Oh, she want a dress. Oh, she need to go to therapy. You gonna pay for her therapy? Nigga, I don't care what you going through. I'm telling you real life, man. I'm telling you real life. After these women have had so after they have had so much love, man, after a certain age, they're not looking for love, dog. You know? But like I said, you can't be out here mad at them. Don't don't be mad at them. Accept accept it for what it is. You know, accept it for what it is. The only thing you can control is you becoming a better man. You falling in love with your life. So now you got to work the night shift. Cool. You know, don't hate your job. Don't hate your life. Don't hate where you live. Be happy with where you at right now. Like, be happy with it. Because guess what? It can only get better. So, for instance, if you living in your car, guess what? It can only get better. And if your mind get better and your life get better, come on, bro. You can only go up. You know, you can only go up. So don't hate your life, man. Don't be out here hating your life or hating that you can't have two or three girls. Man, that, sh that shit can come. That shit will come later. God's still making women. They turning 18. They going to college. They not going nowhere. 
you know. But the thing is, are you evolving? Are you getting better? Are you just listening to these messages just to listen and you addicted to the message? Nah. Nah. Don't get addicted to the message. Like, use this shit and take action. You know, you don't want to be out here on child support, bro. You know, you want to have control of your uh, of your seeds. You want to be able to be there when you decide to have kids and shit like that. That's very important. You know, so you don't want to rush this life. Let everybody else rush. Yeah, it seemed cool. You see these dudes being gangsters and shit and they, you know, they popping. Girls listening to their rap songs. And you're like, damn, these chicks love rappers. Damn. So I got to be, I got to act like a gangster. Man, don't do it. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Keep being yourself. Keep staying consistent in what you're doing. That's why I say, man, I'm always say this shit. Get that journal. It's like your Bible. Get the journal. It's like your Bible. Because the more you put your thoughts down on paper, the less you go stress. I'm going to say that shit again. The more you put your thoughts on paper, the less you go stress. It's, it's, like, it's like the stress just leaving your soul once you put it on paper. You know? See, a lot of men in a rush because you think 32 is old. You think 30 is old. Man, look, when you hit 32, 30, that's when you get serious about life. That's when you still young. You still going to be learning shit. You're like, damn, one day you could be driving. You could think of something you're like, OK, that's how it go. You could put two and two together. You still learning, man. You, you, you're not old. You know, you want to build that foundation, man. You want to have your plan for your foundation and build that shit alone. Build that shit alone. Because guess what? I don't care how much money you got, wh who you are. You can't hold no woman she don't want to be hold. Look at all the millionaires. I mean, the billionaires, Jeff Bezos, all them guys. They wife left. They, they don't care. You know, they don't. And people evolve from each other. People grow from each other. Money can't hold nobody. I don't care how much money you got. Money can't hold nobody. But the thing you have control over is how you act as a man, how you are as a man, how you develop as a man. That's the, that's the thing you control. So are you hitting the gym? Are you reading more books? Are you getting better on the inside first? You know, and, and like I say, man, I know this should be cliche, but it's so important, especially cl cliche in the world full of chaos, in the world full of entertainment, in the world full of drama. And so this is like the this is like the fucking crust of a cake. You know, this is this ain't no popular shit. But it's the important shit. It's the foundation. And all my messages, I want my shit to be like the foundation before everything comes, before the clout and all that shit come. You got to have that foundation. You, you got to be mentally strong, man. You have to be mentally strong, you know. And even if you get mentally weak, you, you have to know how to get your back, uh, get yourself back to being mentally strong. Man, life going to knock you down a lot of times. And you gonna have to learn how to pick yourself back up. You know? You gonna have to learn how to do that. Man, I done saw people I love uh lose a child before they was born. I done saw people, man, been through everything. And people just learning how to pick themselves back up. So as a man, bro, you have to learn how to pick yourself back up when times get hard. You have to learn when times get hard, okay, it's time to toughen up. It's it's time to tie your boots tighter. It's time to just go hard and you gonna have to learn it by yourself because you can't be in no relationship and times get hard and you just want to lay in the bed. And you just want to think about your childhood. You want to, uh, you know, that kind of shit. Nah, you gonna have to when times get hard, you got to get harder. That's it. You know, that's the way, because like I said earlier, you can't let life beat you, man. You got to talk to life like, nigga, please, nigga, please. You know, I'm telling you, I done been there. I done been there. That's why I say if people keep around you, make sure they speaking life into you. You don't have time for people who gossiping with you. You don't have time for that shit, man. You trying to get it. You know, you trying to get it. Like I say, some of y'all working right now, you working two jobs, you hate your job. Man, look, go hard, bro. Get overtime. Make this shit fun.
Because guess what? 10 years from now, you're going to be thankful you did that. And all that's going to do is just build up your endurance. It's going to build up your uh, your tolerance for hard work. That's it. It's going to build it up. Trust me, man. I got something coming up right now that I'm, I'm working on again. And it's going to be kind of like a hard, something hard, but... I didn't build my tolerance up so so well. Like I'm ready for it. I'm. I look at it as a challenge. I look at it as fun. You know, it's fun to me to challenge myself as a man, bro. Because that's that's how you go evolve. That's how you go evolve. That's that's how if a girl break up with you, you're not gonna want to kill her. You know, you're not gonna want to hit her. Shit like that. But it all life starts with you, man. The way your life go is gonna be how you treat it. You know, how you treat your life, I'm telling you, is very important. You have to go hard when you buy yourself. Don't don't worry about being lonely, man. Take take advantage of being lonely. Take advantage of it. You know, because I'm telling you, you go miss it if you rush and get in a relationship. And you're like, damn, I wish I was by myself. <laughs> damn, I wish I did this by myself. You know, so take advantage of it, man. Take advantage of it. But like I say, man, we learn a lesson from, you know, their relationship. Don't rush. Don't rush. Don't fake it. Because a lot of people are faking these days in relationships, man. And we done all been there before. You know, I faked it like I was happy in a relationship when I was really with them other thoughts. You know, I was faking it. But as we know now, you don't want to be out here faking it, man. Cause that's gonna ruin your your health your health. That's gonna ruin your opportunities to get better, and that's gonna slow down a lot of shit that you could have got popping. Because you out here faking like you know the love is real, but behind closed doors you in love with somebody else. Or nah, man, look, learn to be real, man. Even even if it's tough, learn to be real. If you if it's not a right time for you to be with a girl, tell her. Tell her, look, I can't, I can't love you how you want me to love you. I can't, you know. A lot of them, they still won't understand that shit either. But at least you said it. Just tell them that. I can't love you how you want me to love you because I have to build something. In my, I have to become somebody, you know. And don't take advantage of them. Time just changed, man. Time just changed. And you have to learn to adjust. You have to learn to adjust because if you don't adjust, man, you're going to be out here stressed out. You're going to let these women stress you out because they have options these days. Their minds are open now. They have, you know, the women liberation, you know, whatever they call it. You know, like they they thinking for themselves now, like they got their own opinion and all that. Look, you can't control that. You can't go back and forth with them. Let them have that. What you can control is how you live your life and what you attract and who you attract. Trust me, you build your life to, to how you want to build it and you and you just be on the way, on the route to that life. You go attract. You go attract the women, bro. That's going to be the easy part. But the hard part is, can you become mentally tough when times get hard? You know, can you by yourself, can you become and I ain't saying like with friends because it's important to have people that's on side of you have real friends. But as a man in, in like relationship, can you become mentally tough by yourself? Can you depend on yourself? Because guess what? You depend on the woman and they go always be there. They they moody, man. They moody. One day they want to talk and the next day they don't. So you gonna have to learn how to do that alone first, you know. So, oh yeah, man, good message, good message. But we about to get into this news, uh, and some funny shit, some funny shit. Uh, Louisiana governor, uh, well he's running for Louisiana Senate, uh, Gary Chambers Jr. And this is a cool guy, man. I, I actually met him, cause you know that Black Lives Matter shit was going on. I went out there with my camera and I was like taking pictures and stuff like that. And he was actually like the first one out there. So I think he was like campaigning then to like, okay, I'm about to do this. So 
he running for uh Louisiana Senate. And you know, I really think he a cool dude. I really think he he the ones that really care and really tells the truth. But one thing about politics, they don't care about the truth, man. They don't care what you're trying to fix. They all in it for that money. That money. That money, honey. <laughs> So, you know, they, they have in their politics, uh, they politician wars and stuff like that. And I'm going to play it, man. I'm going to play what uh, the Louisiana Senate right now uh, is, um, what his name is? John Kennedy. I think that's his name. But the shit's so, the shit's so funny. The shit's so funny. Hold on. Let's go. <laughs> I hope I'll get flagged for this shit, but oh well. This shit's so funny, bro. Hold on, hold on. Let's go, let's go. Oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> for Louisiana is Louisiana funny, bro. This this way he said, this way he said it when his uh, I forgot what they call that shit. Come on, where's the video, man? Let's let's get to it. Let's get to it. Hold on, I know I can find that. Bear with me, my people, my American people. Here we go. Here we go. This is what he said. <laughs> This is John Kennedy, man, a, a, a old white guy. He's Louisiana Senate right now. This shit's so funny, bro. But it's it's funny, but it's not funny because you know who he's trying to talk about. But these people so they so racist, man. Violent crime is surging in Louisiana. Woke leaders blame the police. If you hate cops just because they're cops, the next time you get in trouble, call a crackhead. <laughs> My name is Don Jamal. I am a veteran. I am a Hold on, bro. Let's that shit one more time. Hold on, hold on. Crime. Hold on. This is what he said. Violent crime is surging in Louisiana. Woke leaders blame the police. He said woke leaders. If you hate cops just because they're cops, the next time you get in trouble, call a crackhead. <laughs> My name is Tanja Miles. I <laughs> Bro, in about 2030, bro, what are they going to be doing when they having these debates, man? Like, they they going to the real extreme now. So, like, picture 2030, man. Like, what the hell are they going to be doing? Are they going to be running around naked? Or It's, it's just crazy, man. Like, on some real shit, I don't trust none of them motherfuckers, but it is what it is, man. This this the game they play. Uh, nothing ever gets fixed. None of that shit. So it, it is what it is. Like I said a long time ago, we are doomed. And once you understand we are doomed and you can be happy with that, you're not gonna stress, man. You're not go you're not gonna try to uh save the world. You're gonna try to save a group of people. And that's how my channel is. I don't care if I get a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, ten thousand views. I don't care. If I can help five, ten dudes, bruh, like just see what I'm talking about. That's, bruh, bruh, that's cool with me because I never thought I'd have a YouTube channel. I never thought I'd have a YouTube channel, you know, to uh to help out young men and stuff like that. But don't don't try to make it your responsibility to save this world, man, because they already have an agenda. You know, they have an agenda already. They love the entertainment. They love. They love crime. People love crime. Why do you think serial killer shows and law and art? Why do you think those are the top watch shows? We are obsessed with crime in America. So what's going to happen in real life? Crime. You know, we obsessed with that shit. Nobody wants a perfect world. People act like it. They act like they want a perfect world. Nobody wants a perfect world. It'll be too boring. It'll be too boring. You know? They love crime in America. It's the American way. <laughs> it's the American way. They act like they want uh, angels and uh, perfect. But what everybody doing? Everybody talks about it on social media. But on the weekend, nobody wants to put up with everybody else's problems. Nobody want to listen to your problems. 
Nobody want to help you on the weekend. Everybody wants to party. Everybody wants to have fun. Nobody wants to go talk to the kids that's in the gangs and tell them why. They, no, but they'll tweet about it. They'll make videos about it. They'll write Facebook posts about it. But are you going to help those kids? Are you putting money in those kids' pockets? Are you going to talk to those kids about not joining the gang? But guess who's talking to them? The gang leaders. Guess who's showing them things? The gang leaders. When they mom and dad night there. Are you doing it? No. So everybody just, it, it's all fake outrage, man. And once you get out of that shit, I'm telling you, stay stay with the people you're trying to help. Um, get better yourself. But don't make it your responsibility to save this world. Or don't feel guilty because you can't save the world, man. You know, man, it's... <laughs> I was about to go on the whole rant, man. I want to go on the whole rant, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start having a, a time period, a time period where I just rant, man. Because you have to, you have to rant sometimes. It's very important, and I always been like that in my life. So I was about to go on the whole rant, man. <laughs> this shit crazy, man. It's the American way. We love crime. We love crime. We love seeing uh, somebody on Facebook get cut with a, a sword. Send me the video. Send me the video. Let me see it. You got the video? You got the video? We love to see it. You know? So I don't know why everybody acting so uh, surprised about the crime rate and shit. That's all we want to see. We want to see Halloween movies, people killing each other. We want to see that. So why why everybody in the uproar? Beats me. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. So, like I said... Take y'all time with relationships. Take your time with life. Keep grinding. Keep becoming a better person mentally. You know, that's very, very, very important. And like I say, I always put um, information in the description. So today I got the 30 skills every man should know and must learn. You know, so these skills are there to help you grow help you become better and also there to help you to have something in the way from you always chasing always chasing you know because the more skills you learn bro i'm telling you the more happy you go be the more things you know the more people gonna need you so when people depend on you guess what you gonna always be of value you gonna always have ways to make money guess what your job fire you guess what you know how to do things you know how to change tires you know you know how to clean cars you know how to clean carpets in people's homes. You know, you know how to do a lot of different things. And that's the thing about a man. You want to keep evolving, keep learning things, keep learning new things. And I'm going to leave y'all with this. Don't be in a rush to be in a relationship. Take your time. The best relationship, the first relationship you want to have is with yourself. Y'all have a good night.